Hello everybody, How Now Videos, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna take a look at case studies. So what is a case study? Why do one? People also call them precedent studies. Essentially a case study would be taking a look at some existing architecture to see uh, if it aligns with what you're thinking for your project. So for example, these are some case studies that I've collected that are about uh, a bridge that can serve as a community center or community function. So here you can see that uh, I've collected a bunch of views and images from some online resources, which we'll cover in just a second. And you can see at the top in bold are the different features that I um, look to identify as I collect these images. Um, tectonics relate to how a building uh, was kind of physically put together and formed, um, kind of the geometries as they uh, integrate with the construction methods. And then here is a spatial composition, and then here you can see another heading for the next case study. Um, and then on these heading pages, I like to just break down real quick what to, is uh, going to pop up, what's going to come. Uh, you don't always have to have all of these items as you do a case study, but I think it's important to try and seek out that information from multiple websites. Uh, it's also important to incorporate where the site is, where the architect, uh, who the architect is, and a little bit uh, of a picture description uh, to give a snapshot of it. Uh, the nounproject.org is a great way to find icons, and I like to summarize at times um, different features and slides with, uh, with icons as well to just avoid excessive use of text. It's a great way to communicate your design intent and what you want to highlight from each page. And so finding projects that align with your project is important, but then also um, ones that uh, have enough documentation. That's that's one of the trickier parts to be able to uh, inform you in a well-rounded approach if it uh, if it aligns with your design or not. Um, so this one's a really cool art museum that's uh, on top of a bridge. All right, so that's pretty much how I conduct my case studies. And if you want to take a look, the websites that I go to. Uh, first and foremost is Arc Daily. If you're not familiar with it, you will uh, definitely really like this website. Um, so when you go to Arc Daily's main page, they have curated information uh, every day that pops up on different projects. But you can also go to search projects and you can search for specifics in here. So let's just say, for example, um, like a boating marina. I could go and I could search for different uh, types of boating marina projects that are tagged with that. Or you could go into categories and we could go and um, search up, let's say, like an aquarium. Or we could get down into um, some other, let's see, there is, I know there's a marina somewhere in here, transportation, boathouse other ways to get to you know very similar projects um, of the same typology of what you're looking for and then within these projects if you click on them you can go and look through all their images and then also get some good information on the project location some descriptions that the authors for arc daily or the editors for arc daily have uh, have written usually there's a little map as well and uh, it becomes a really valuable resource what i end up doing is just saving these images and bringing them into a Google slide presentation and doing all my documentation and creating a basically a design booklet uh, within that uh, format. Um, and then Arc2O is another great website to look for uh, other articles on different buildings. Oftentimes I first search uh, Arc Daily for a project that I'm interested in. And then from here, I usually use their images and their information first. And then from there, if I can't find enough of what I want, I'll turn to Google or I'll turn to uh, to um, Arc2O or uh, DZine as some different ways to search for um, architectural projects. 
uh, that are of interest. Sometimes you'll find images on one website that's not on the other, so it's always good to, to search through them all. Um, but I find searching through these websites to actually be a little more successful than to just search Google. Um, a lot of times these come up with some, some great illustrations and graphics uh, for, for what you need and what you're looking for. Um, it's also important to point out that on Arc Daily, right, maybe just the typology of the building isn't enough for your case study. You can also search for um, uh, materials, right? So like, let's say you're doing um, a fabric kind of facade and you wanted to search for other case studies that are using some fabric facades. Uh, you might be able to find that within the material uh, or under just projects, you might be able to search for some other kind of uh, screening and facades and you can get into uh, these different projects um, just through multiple different searches. So that's what I wanted to point out to you uh, with the types of elements that I look for in case studies and then also these different resources. Um, and then I had mentioned uh, the icons. So if you go to the nonproject.com, um, you can search for icons. So for example, if we want to get icons for facades, right, and we want to just illustrate in our case study that we're talking about facades, so alongside the image from, let's say, uh, Arc Daily, I could then include uh, an icon of a facade from the noun project to associate that that's what I want to point out and that's what I want to emphasize on this case study from maybe the particular image that we choose. Right, so maybe this image here, we'll drop in a facade icon here with an arrow pointing over to here. So that way we understand um, just graphically that that's what we're interested in pointing out. All right, don't forget to save and subscribe. Hope you liked the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And I look forward to sharing more resources with you going forward as well as some how-to videos.